Hello. So y'all. Whoo! Hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, it's been a minute. <laughs> y'all have not seen me in a long time. Um, I have my own reservations about things. We'll get into that. I <laughs> dressed up. Okay. I'll tell you more about that. People, are you quitting YouTube? Are you quitting YouTube? That's probably gonna be the title because honestly for the past few not even just weeks the fat past couple of uh, almost a couple of years i've toyed with the emotion or with the notion of moving on from content creation and things like that i've actually i feel like i talked to you guys about it before i talked about wanting to maybe experience the corporate world and things like that so i know people are gonna be like girl you do too much you don't need to da, 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 da. this is something that i personally have been toying with this is something that i just like but let me rewind let me rewind and tell you guys where i've been and we'll talk about we'll get into it a little bit a little later <laughs> we'll get into um the more specific details because i'll I'm going to be doing my makeup and stuff tomorrow, so y'all will see that footage. So, anywho, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Daquana White. Do plus size and lifestyle content. Well, plus size fashion and lifestyle content as well as some beauty content. But today, I guess we're doing a lifestyle. I'm going to give you guys a couple of days in my life, okay? Um, a little, a slight get ready with me for some interviews that I'm doing um a little bit of work a little bit of this a little bit of that so that's what this vlog is going to be about where have i been for the past two three four weeks my sister came over here got me and baby sick we were sick uh it was really bad in the beginning it was like body aches it was basically flu symptoms i did take a COVID test it was negative so it was like flu symptoms body aches fever all of that and it was really bad for me for two days and then it just kind of lingered on with a cough here a cough there and sniffles and you know a little fatigue so i was like i'm taking a break um i could have forced myself to come and film content and stuff but i just took a long a much needed break i was like yeah no so, wait a second yeah. wait a second wait a second we have to thank Scentbird for sponsoring this vlog. Y'all, I am so excited. You want to know why? Because back in 2017, 2016, one of those years, I had just started using Scentbird. It is now 2022. I was in a dorm room, okay? Cooped up in a dorm room with all my filming equipment and all of that. Still learning about Scentbird, still being sponsored by Scentbird. So I've been rocking with them at this point. For about five to six years like i remember being in that dorm room before i got an apartment before i got a place i was rocking scent bird had these little vials in my school bag so i'm really happy and i want to thank scent bird not just for sponsoring this video but for having a great product this entire time all right so i have four that i'm going to share with you and while i show you how to use the new cases like girl the new cases are so freaking sleek. I'm going to tell you what fragrances I got. And I'm going to also explain a little bit of how Scentbird works. So Scentbird is a subscription service. And if you are just unsure about what types of fragrances you like, I like that Scentbird offers a quiz. So they let you kind of play around and figure scent out. Uh, sometimes I'm like grown and sexy and classy other times musky and fall and warm fruity and it's just a range of things so I love Scentbird because I can always experiment with my scent I can see what works with my uh, body chemistry and I can see mm, what I'm not feeling so they have women's perfumes men's colognes and then also unisex scents so that's something that i really love but these new tubes though these new tubes are so sleek and so i would say the first ones were easy to use as well but these are just like magnetic it just comes apart and you can see what vial you have and speaking of the vial you get a full month's use out of this and honestly i've had longer 
I've had longer and I spray generously, okay? So um, these sizes right here, these vials are around eight times bigger or larger than like regular sample perfume. So really love that. And you can lock it. So it's not just gonna spray uh, without, you know, all spilling your purse and things like that. Absolutely love that. So let me go ahead and show you a close up on how to work the case and tell you what scents I got. So the scent that you're gonna see me showcasing first is Dime Malibu Night. And it has notes of coconut musk, raspberry pear, green leaves, and sandalwood. And I would say if I had to describe myself by using a scent, it would probably be Malibu Night because I love pear, I love sandalwood, and I also love raspberry. So I also have three other fragrances, one being English Laundry by Oxford Blue. And it has notes of citrus, vanilla, caramelized sugar, pineapple, and amber. That's the one that I'm actually going to wear today i had told you guys i had interviews earlier but i actually am going out to celebrate with baby she wants to celebrate that i have second interviews and that oh that english laundry i just sprayed it on myself it smells so good but let's get back to the demonstration let me tell you what other fragrances so, i have a little bit so, about scentbird it is a subscription fragrance service so every single month you can try a new fragrance but you are not obligated to try new scents or buy new scents every single month you can opt to skip the month if you choose to or if it's just not in your budget for that month i also love that scentbird is very affordable and very customizable so if i wanted two or three fragrances per month i can do that as well um, another thing, let's go ahead and get into my fragrances. I think I have a scent bird vial in every single bag I own, like my work bag, my freaking purse, my little fanny packs. I'm going to have scent bird in there. I just have to. I love scent bird so much. It's just so convenient, so small, so classy and pretty. So like, if you run out the house one day and you're just like, oh my God, I forgot to spray my fragrance. Go in your purse, boom, easy, easy. Pull it out and spray yourself. Or if you just need a touch up because you've been out and about all day, you know, like if I'm becoming a career woman and by the time uh, my shift is over, I'm like, wow, my fragrance really wore off. Okay, but I'm having dinner with babe right after this. Let me pull out my scent bird. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so let me tell you the other fragrances I have. So I might butcher this one, but I think it's Fluze Cerisier by Le Octane. Look, I don't know, but we gonna get into the notes. Cherry, cherry blossom, and musk. Ready to smell that one, let me see. I can pull that one out. Oh, this color is really pretty. I don't even know if this is the right one, but it's so easy to check. Look at that color, really pretty. So easy to see. So this one is actually not the correct one. We'll get there in a second. We wanna stay correct. Oh, is this black? Is this black? It goes with it if it is, cause it's like a cherry bomb. Oh! The black and the gold is so nice. And you just could take it off like that. And that is the correct one. Okay, so let me put it back in. And I'm gonna spray it this way because I already sprayed myself. So I sprayed myself with English laundry. It's giving cherry. And it's giving musky. That's really good. I thought it was gonna be a little overpowering giving like Dr. Pepper or chair wine or something, but it's not. It's really, smells a little luxury, like very high end. I love that. And one thing I also love, Simbird actually has like over 600 fragrances on their site. It's something for everyone, okay? So let me go ahead and get into the last one, which is the All Natural, well, Silhouette All Natural um, by Christian Steriano. And I feel like that one's gonna be cool. Let me actually fix it in my case. And let me spray it over here. And if you know me, I actually like to mix and match my fragrances. So if two complement each other, I will do that. I like to put on the oil first and then go ahead on with my fragrance. Like I'm that girl. So let's see what Christian is giving. That one is light and airy, but very, very pretty. Look, what are the notes? 
mandarin peach nectar water lily and i really don't really i really don't prefer florals but sometimes when they're undertones or not too potent i will i like them okay so this one says this one it's says a natural barely there fragrance it smells like you but better and that's what it's given it's given like i'm here i'm lightweight but i smell really good but i'm not overpowering i'm not gonna give you a headache I'm not gonna, you know, like, but I'm still gonna turn ahead. And people go, oh, it smells nice. Okay, coconut blossom and skin musk. That makes sense. It smells like you, but better. <laughs> Duh. So this one seems like it'll really vibe with your body chemistry. And, you know, it'll take hints of maybe your oil that you're wearing, your lotion that you're wearing, your, uh, what do you call it? What you wash your clothes with, like your natural scent enhanced, okay? she's cute i'm really gonna love her and i could definitely pair her with other things as well she can be like a first hit and then boom hit him with the second one so love that for us of course y'all know i got y'all with the coupon code so you can visit scent bird and use the code daquana or click the link down below use the code daquana and you'll save 55 percent so your first order will be only around eight dollars okay so definitely check that link out down below and thank you once again to simper for sponsoring this vlog oh girl so i am just waking up I actually got up like 30 minutes ago and got to brush my teeth and get dressed so um actually Today, I told you guys I have round two of interviews. I didn't know my first interview was going to last about an hour. So, yeah, I don't know. I might have to reschedule the second one. But the first one is the one I really want. So, yeah. And then the second one, I don't even think they sent the link for the Zoom. And they just seem a little... It seems a little more like something I don't want to do. So, yeah, it seems a little more like something I don't want to do. So, I'm not really too pressed about that one. But, yeah, let me go ahead and brush my teeth and wash my face and stuff because your girl I'm looking hit, okay? Actually, haven't used my herfetism oil in so long. So, I gotta get back on track with that. Stops the well, it inhibits, inhibits, that's the word, hair growth. Um, and I didn't use it for like, three, not three weeks, but two weeks when I was sick. I'm trying to see if any got on, like, okay. I gotta visibly see stuff sometime to know that it's there. But, y'all. We about to get into the whole quitting YouTube thing. I have not forgot. I told you I was going to do it while I got ready. So I'm about to go sit at my makeup table, do a little makeup, not too much, and tell you guys. Okay, so I actually wore a turtleneck yesterday too. I was not going to do one today, but I'm wearing like this mini skirt. It's, you know, Zoom, so it doesn't have to be too much um like i don't have to put on a full ankle length skirt at this point but yeah so let me come in closer you can get hair and makeup all right so i got about 40 minutes to get ready oh that feel good i have to do a retwist like um i did babe's retwist and it looks amazing um, however, I tried the two strand thing and she was laying down, so it kind of didn't come out right, but it'd be looking nice. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold y'all, but yeah, these are my locks maturing and I just put a little pony back here, not too tight because I'm tender headed. Um, and then I make sure like the bottom, like at my neck is not pulling because like I said, I'm tender headed. So, um, I'm putting on my crystal unit for today. She has the natural hairline. She slays, she eats, she's everything. But let me tell y'all, 
So when it comes to leaving YouTube, I I be going for weeks already, and that's not my intention. But I'm just like, oh, I'm just like wanting something new. Like I'm wanting something different, something refreshing, and I'm wanting something with structure, stability. Um, and I don't like me and my brother. We were talking, you know, just was like, I want something like not necessarily. Well, it is basically, I did that first. That was a mistake. It is basically a new career path. Um, I want to utilize my degree. Like, I utilize my degree with my business. But like I said, I'm just seeking that stability, that structure, uh, benefits, and things like that um it's been years uh oh i don't need that to happen it was about to drip into my wax pot it's been years um that i've gone without having i feel like saved enough for retirement and also things like health insurance and life insurance do y'all know how hard it is to get life insurance as a fat person like i literally have to get a job to have a decent life insurance policy that's crazy to me um that's too far up but yeah so it's i've tried with multiple companies even the ones who say oh approve the proof like i need to literally literally talk to a life insurance agent because i just like I don't understand p.s um so when i had got sick or whatever i knew i was gonna reach like the 20 pound 20 pound down that's not good 20 pounds down and i did reach that so actually i gained like maybe two back so i'll say 18 pounds officially but i did reach my 20 pound mark and i plan to reach it again um by the end of 2022 if not before then um but when i had got over my sickness i was eating everything okay everything was going in my mouth like all of my childhood cravings um i've been eating boiled eggs like crazy i don't think that's too much of a problem um i just do like two a day one or two a day i know they're high in cholesterol but some people say it's not bad cholesterol i don't know i just don't be trying to overdo it but like i was craving raviolis and ramen and no no we got to get back on track we got to get back on our fiber our tea and things like that girl but yeah um anywho like i said i'm just seeking structure stability and i used to all like like i was saying me and my brother just was like we need to find something for you that has all the benefits but that's not too demanding so that you can still you know continue to build everything that you have built and i'm like and i'm like everything like this job i will use whether it's to pay taxes to save down payments pay anything down like it would be i don't want to say because it's not f off money but it's just like I would still be maintaining my salary from my business. I would literally just be changing my schedule. Like, I would have to, again, become more structured. I've gotten so used to doing whatever I want to do whenever and procrastinate and wait to the last minute. And I'm like, no, I want to get up in the morning. I want to stop by for coffee first and or tea. I don't really do coffee. I would be on the toilet um stop by for tea and all that good stuff like i want to try something new and i want to secure my future and although i am a person who i know like you never know how long you're gonna live like it but you can dream like you can dream and you can try to at least secure so that if you do you know live a long lengthy life okay you will be comfortable in the end. And I was telling my girlfriend, like, listen, you know, I have a few people in my life, but I've also lost a lot of people. Like, 
a lot of people. And I go so hard, and I talked about this on my podcast, but I go so hard because I don't have a fallback. Like, I don't have people who I can call if I fall into a rut and be like, oh, can I, you know, like, I don't have that. And right now, a lot of people don't even have it to offer or to give you and help you out if you were to fall on a hard time. So I'm like, no, girl, I'm trying to secure whatever I can secure. I'm going to use my holy hydration because no, (laughs) no, I don't. And I was telling her, like, I go so hard for real because I know what it's like to not have. Like, I know what it was like to sleep on floors. I know what the economy crashing looks like. And it looks like what it's looking like right now. Like, when COVID had first hit, I definitely took a hit. I told y'all about the hits I I was taking. And I also minimized it for you all. Like, girl, I didn't tell y'all everything that was happening behind the scenes. Sorry, I got something on my nail. I didn't tell y'all everything that was happening behind the scenes because some stuff I do prefer to keep private. My nail is breaking. Some stuff I do work through alone, but I've been very, very transparent with you all. And... Um, yeah, when COVID hit, every, a lot of people took losses. I'm thankful to have been able to move during a pandemic, like, seriously. So, I'm just like, I'm trying to prepare for whatever, like, whatever at this point. Whether that's my business becoming a million dollar business, or whether that's me going into the career field and securing that, like, whatever, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna go in with my primer. I should have went in with. I'm gonna go in with my um my glow primer. I want some. I feel more. I'm feeling like I want moisture, so I'm gonna go in with like my Aveeno glow. But that's like all in all, what I wanted to talk to y'all about. Um, will I be permanently quitting YouTube? No. Will I be taking a step back? Yeah, but will y'all be seeing still consistent content? Yeah. I'm just more so finding structure within myself. The video clip was getting long, but I'm more so just looking to find structure within myself. So that way I can, you know, still upload consistently. So if I'm working Monday through Friday, then I will be uh con- you know creating content or doing what i need to do on the weekends with cl- closet sales and you know wig sales and things like that i may even have time after work right i may have a little time before work but i'm not gonna i'm not overdoing it i'm, I'm really not so that's my thing um i will become more strict with myself i will get out of the idea of I can wake up whenever. Yay. Da, 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 da. Do I love that? Yeah, it's cool. But it's like, mm, you know, like, uh, I got a video coming about this foundation. It's like so lightweight. I love it. And I'm not going to do a lot. But yeah, y'all. Um, I will still be here. I will still be around. It will be more structured. So you actually might be seeing more consistency so you won't see less of me although i will be dedicating less days i won't just wake up on a random thursday and be like oh well let me go film today like it won't be like that i will film on sundays or um not mondays but film on sundays or saturdays um i think i'm just gonna take like it just depends because i still want to have time it's this one right here i still want to have time for you know my girlfriend my dogs my home and things like that so i'm not gonna take every single saturday and create content because maybe babe want to go out on saturday like so it's just a matter of you know creating that balance finding that balance finding that structure and seeing if this works for me this is also something where it's like i don't want to say it's not permanent but it's like if you don't like it I don't want to say you still have a fallback plan, but if it's not working for you, do something else. Like, 
that's what I'm thinking to myself. Like, try it. Just try it. So, yeah, y'all. Your girl is, I don't want to say, <laughs> quitting YouTube. She's restructuring, okay? And these two weeks I've been sick. I've had time to think about stuff like that. Um, I don't think I'm ready to talk about another thing that's really been bothering me. Um, but that just really, like, put the nail in the coffin at, as far as, like, girl, you really, it's you and your girl. Like, it's you and your girl right now. And, all right, I had to make sure my glue looked a little tacky. So, yeah, that realization of, even though I've kind of always lived life like that, but that realization of really knowing, like, I don't really have that support system, that fallback, like, I don't really have that, it really pushed me to go, like, hard and think about myself, think about what I wanted for myself what I want for my family and creating my family and my brother told me he said look you focused on everybody else enough <laughs> it's time for you to focus on Kwana right so that's what I have to do alright I don't even know if I posted my video about the um cyber monday and black friday so i had i left my scent bird downstairs so i'm definitely having to go uh put that on before i get on this zoom is anyone gonna smell me no but i'm just getting fresh and so clean so i need to smell it as well only person i'm gonna see today is baby and that's probably gonna be later today i think i'm gonna drop her off this uh heater thing I also have to film ASOF and post it today because um, it's been going on three weeks. Well, yeah, it's been two four weeks that I haven't posted because I was sick. And then this is the third week. Y'all see that? Girl, Thrifty Slay Slade. Okay, so we just going to leave that where it's at for now. All right, let's blend out this. So I need to spray again. The hair took me longer to put on than I anticipated. But <sighs> I'm actually really excited for the refresh, y'all. I'm really excited. I actually think it's going to bring y'all some sort of structure as well. But I have to remember, like, I still, I do a lot. Like, and I don't want to overextend myself. That's the whole point. That's why I'm trying to find something that's not too demanding like i ain't trying to be at work running my business but um yeah i'm trying to find something that's not gonna do too too much that's not gonna stress me out i don't need nothing stressful okay nothing stressful i do want to help people i do want to help with branding i do want to help um with strategizing but i don't want to be stressed out at the end of every day like so i'm super excited um i've seen many uh videos where people well i've seen a couple i'm not gonna say many but i've seen a lot where people talk about quitting youtube and i've seen a lot where some people be like nah this gotta be like this gotta work for me this gonna be my bread and butter and nonetheless like <laughs> influencing my for me anyway has not taken a hit like i go up on my prices every year and i still get the same amount of um brand deals if not more but it's just they're paying more so that's not the problem but like i said i'm aware of the economy right now and i'm aware and i want to get ahead of things like like i said when that pandemic started child these businesses left and right was like oh we, we can't send this we can't do this um we'll reach out in another three months like dang you know dang like 
I lost five figures just with one brand. So I was like, okay, we gotta find something else. I don't picked up the wrong powder. So I'm gonna just set that like right there. It's my face color powder. I'm supposed to do the other one. It's like a double thing. I'm supposed to do the one on the top. It's lighter. So yeah. That's pretty much that. I'll speed through the rest of this. I actually want you guys to let me know what you think. Like, do you think, eh, risky move. You're not going to have enough time. You're not going to want to create content. You're going to leave us. Or do you think, like, or do you think I am going to be able to, you know, handle it, to balance it, to still bring the girls what they need? What y'all think? Let me know. Um... Do y'all think it's gonna be too much? Do y'all think, girl, this ain't the refresh that you looking for that you think it's gonna be? Y'all let me know. I'm just gonna do a nude lip. I usually do like gloss, but um, not for an interview. So yeah, I'm just gonna do something lightweight. All right, so let me set my face and I'm practically done. Like, may do a little blush and not too much highlight, but a little bit, but yeah. I'm putting on a black blazer. Also, yesterday I wore, y'all saw what I wore yesterday, blue and white. And I'm like, today I wanna wear black and gray. I want something a little more muted. This interview will be longer, supposedly. Um, I'm really excited though. I'm really, really excited. But also, what I was saying, like, y'all, I don't see myself being 50. Uh, I don't know about 40, but I don't see myself being 50, 60, 70, of course, doing try on hauls. Like, I have to solidify my future. And I don't think, like, people have to make excuses for, um, I don't, oh, no, 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 no 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 people don't have to make excuses for wanting to change people don't have to make excuses for anything but it's like you know people look at me and they be like girl you make this money you do this you have this following you do a lot and i'm like yeah but what about life insurance what about health insurance what about dental what about vision what about a 401k you know all of that stuff as an entrepreneur i have to worry about all of that myself like I have to do all of that. And not to say like, oh, I don't want to. Child, I was trying to swipe out of my calendar notification. But anywho, not to say like, oh, I don't want to do it. And da, 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 it's too much. Like, if I don't have to worry about it and I can like, it could be maintained easier. That's just what's, what it's going to be like. That's what it need to be. So, yeah. Let's do some blush. Let's do some spray first. Like today. I got my interviews, and then I'm doing what? Recording content, editing content, posting content. Okay. Not too much, not too much. Look, not too much. Well, when I'm walking, walk in, they be like, girl, this this ain't no uh, casting call, baby. That's the, ooh, what's that? Lord. <laughs> That's another interview baby this ain't no casting call this is a uh an interview oh do y'all believe in pretty privilege do y'all think like i believe in pretty privilege to a certain extent like all right now they want me to bring her a wallflower when i bring her to um when I bring her the uh, cool hot fan thingy from Dyson. So I gotta remember to grab a wallflower before I go downstairs. But yeah, y'all, pretty privilege is a thing. Like, I feel like being presentable definitely increases your chances on things. Like, 
come on now we know that we know that we seem pretty privileged y'all we've seen it i'm just gonna go in with a little highlight like a little because i'm also filming today so so yeah all right we good are we good so then i'm gonna take this right here she did her thing what was it charlotte charlotte tilbury i think that's the name the her big one did her big one on that i feel like i'm forgetting something but i have lashes on from yesterday um i'm good i'm good i'm good okay i'm good i'm good so i'm not about to add no more curls to this i'm just gonna do it yeah she don't need no more curls Let's go ahead and make sure our clips are secured. This one is a front tool, so it be needing that extra security, y'all. And I need to pull this down, so. All right. It's actually my IRA emailing me right now. My IRA company. But yeah, y'all, all that stuff, like when it comes to IRAs and business and entrepreneurship, all that stuff i had to deal with it alone when it came to hiring people and needing help and it's that i had to do that on my own like yeah you can pay people to do it for you but shit i gotta pay taxes i gotta pay this i gotta pay for life insurance i mean health insurance i gotta pay for everything like y'all won't believe like the taxes crazy and you don't really know until you're in it and I was like not thrown into business, but I wasn't really given the tools that I needed. Like I didn't start getting tools until later on. Like, wow. And I it wasn't too late because my business is still thriving. But girl, it's a lot. It's a lot to maintain. So yeah, girl. I'm about to go get my scent bird on. <laughs> we about to go get our scent bird on, our blazer on, and we are going to our interview. I'm not going to lay the hairs. I'm just going to have it like natural hair liney. And this is the look for today's interview. All right, all right. So I'm going to go in with my Christian Seriano. Again, once again, thank you, scent bird. I appreciate you. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I locked it by mistake. Hold on. <laughs> I love this one. It smells so good. All right, let me lock that back. I need to actually put it, I'm gonna take it with me when I leave out today. And it matched my outfit. Okay, so these are actually my Yitty leggings. I'm using them as tights today. <laughs> um, Cause I didn't grab any from upstairs and these are way more comfortable for me than tights anyway. So yeah, gonna wear this little short skirt. They won't be seeing this, but um, I got this skirt. Um, they won't see this far down, so I'm not really worried about that, but I am gonna go to the office today. So yeah, when I go out, I'm gonna make it more, you know, but for the sake of the Zoom, we are going to do that. I want to kind of go get one of my brooches, uh, but I'm kind of crunched on time. She's cute. She's real cute. But yeah, when I go out, it's going to be like a bra tuck. And a little pop, pop, pop action. You feel me? I actually might take a picture today. All right, so this is what they will see, okay? Well, we know how to get it together. I decided to do a little bit of a different background. Other day, well, yesterday, 
it was like this area and today we're doing like hold on today we're doing like this area it's kind of more simplified um just books plant and then they could see uh the luther uh the records up there luther loring and a little bit of the jay-z so yes y'all we ready we ready all right y'all so your girl you already know the vibes yes this is the peppermint shake thing about a peppermint shake it's a good refresher and i guess a palate cleanser after you eat but i'm personally somebody who likes to chug stuff and i can't chug a peppermint drink because it's chunky so yeah so anywho um the interview went great uh it's like three rounds so did the first did the second um kind of trying to still get a feel for what my actual duties would be because i'm somebody who wants an office or something that i can decorate and feel comfortable in um like that's the type of atmosphere i want so hopefully and it's like it seems pretty easy to grow within the company like typically it takes years and years and years to become a director to get your own branch and things like that but within this company it takes like maybe six to seven months so i was like okay that's kind of dope i did my questionnaire and stuff and um of course i'll let you guys know what happens with that job if it is like if it is even uh Ooh, which way should I go? I'm gonna go. I have to stop at the office. If it's even a great fit for me, like, so yeah, all that, all that. Um, I'm about to go to the office and get this remote for the Dyson, and then I'm gonna go um, to the house. And the only reason I haven't shot at the office is because I have to, I'm speaking. <laughs> is because I have to, um, but yeah, anyway, the only reason I haven't really shot at the office is one, I was sick, and two, I have to clear off my SD cards. I have about 15, but all of them have different things on there, and I need to put it in my camera and stuff, so that's really the only thing stopping me from filming at the office, but tomorrow I will be filming at the office. Um, I'll be doing Shein, probably forever 21 and i also have to set up another zoom meeting and stuff um as much as i would love to take a nap i don't want to take a nap because it's gonna mess up my sleep schedule so yeah i gotta set up a zoom for my next active wear line and um I got some videos to edit and some videos to film. So I will catch y'all when I get to the office, okay? Excuse me, my, my. Okay, y'all, y'all listen to that new SZA, cause I did. Um, I love her. So y'all know when I was on the way to go see Bay or whatever, even though we ain't even see each other for a long time, what did I have? My scent bird. So again, shout out to them for sponsoring your growl. Okay, that went all in my throat, like all in my throat not even gonna hold y'all but this smells so good this christian seriano is that the name either way my favorite one i think it's christian seriano it's like so good we are at the office <sighs> i just need to come get something <laughs> um this me and babe was here the other day and we cleared off the rack i was moving all the clothes back to the house because I'm about to do this thingy. Um, what a remote. Okay, this is what I needed. But we're about to do this collaboration and work with um, a new brand. Sorry, I just hiked up them steps, y'all. <laughs> but work with this brand to sell my clothes and stuff. So, yeah, y'all. Um, slowly just using this space like as a filming headquarters because it's some work that they got to do here as you can see i don't even change that little calendar thing no more but i absolutely love this space but um i'll say y'all like it just was a few problems that wasn't fixed or whatever so 
it is what it is. Outside still looking really, really nice. But yeah, I wish I could utilize this space more, but I just be uncomfortable. And uh, hopefully they can get this in check, to be honest. But that's all I got to say there. I mean, come on, Thrifty Slay. I mean, come on, somebody. <laughs> but okay, I'm about to go to the house. Y'all see I got all the clothes back there. Some I gotta donate and some I'm gonna put in the closet sale. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. I'm Latina White. I bring you plus size fashion content, as well as lifestyle and beauty content. So I'm sure you've never seen this background before. I'm actually in Babe's Woman Cave. I don't think I really brought you guys in here that much because this is her space. But I thought it would be nice to change up the background just a little bit while I'm like in between my filming spaces. All right, so I'm actually um, editing my website. Make sure y'all can see that. Um, I'm putting up a post today on Instagram. It's been forever, so um, yeah. Let me go ahead and select both of those photos. And I do this. Oh, wait, I can only add one. Hold on now. Ugh, delete that. But yeah, um... I am posting today, first time in a long time, and I do link all of my posts here. So I did that and didn't even want it. Let me see. No, because it's not doing what I needed to do. No. No. Why can't I, like, edit the columns? Matter of fact, I think I'm being kind of annoying. Okay. No, that's the spacing. They don't have it where you can just do two photos. Like, all right. Anywho, we're going to delete that and just do one of these pictures because I don't have time for all of that. Um, Y'all, I got news for y'all. Hold on. Let me post this. Okay. All right. That's the photo I'm going to use. We're going to publish it. We're going to go take a look at it over here okay it's published so yeah i link everything on my dwl website and if you want the skirt they don't have it in that color anymore i want the leggings these are the ones that i'm wearing um want the top it's from shein like i love having this site because it's very helpful for people and it's very helpful for myself so it doesn't have to be me reiterating things over and over but these are the leggings i had on today y'all saw that this is the top it was in gray but i'm sure you can find a gray one here on shein they sell a little bit of everything and this is the wig that i'm wearing so yeah um, and then, of course, everything else is linked there. But that's that. Um, let me go ahead and just go right here. I'm about to flip y'all around. So, actually, uh, I'm about to fill out this right now because, y'all, the news I got for y'all, I'm going to need to definitely uh, use, utilize my planners even more. So, Yes, I'm super excited. I'm about to share that with y'all. And I'm going to show y'all the basket I created over there. Got my on the blankets. But over there. It's definitely giving New Year's. We're going so, dancing. Okay. Don't mind my water bottles back there. Look. I filmed in Babe's Woman Cave today. Um, Hello. It's cute. Anywho, I did film today. I would freeze and need some organized. And I kind of organized it. Um, I kind of did the fridge and stuff too. But it's not cute no more. Um, oh my gosh. I have to cook that chicken down there. And we have to make burgers tomorrow. But yeah. I cleaned out the refrigerator. I didn't. I haven't given y'all like an update. I'm going to be utilizing that soon. I haven't really given y'all an update in here. But... The contact paper is holding up, but you can see it's like wrinkling and stuff. So that's that. 
But this is how it's looking. Okay. Um, over here, I did move some things. So this is like the charcuterie board and stuff, the bowls and stuff that goes with it. Hold on, let me clean my camera. It's a little bit better. But this is like the charcuterie board and the tools. And I just put that in there because um, we don't use it often. It was just sitting here really as decoration. I did add the water cooler. You guys will see the water cooler before. Well, after I have already did another vlog, um, but you're going to see it all complete here first, but you're going to see another vlog with me setting it up. That's what I want to say. So yeah, hot and cold water. I love this thing. It makes making tea amazing. Like it's just perfect. Um, these are the same, the dog area it needs to be clean, but it's cool. Um, got like the little spiked drinks in here and like, you know. And then tea and garbage bags upstairs. I was about to say upstairs. Up there. Um, then this is like my little tea station. So my tea, I'm going to show you in a second, is loose for the most part. Except for my spearmint and, you know, the regular teas. But the ones I drink on a daily, which I try to drink on a daily, are loose. So I have my little tea bags that I use. These are my tea glasses um, for my medicinal tea. For my regular tea, I'll just use a regular mug. So this is something that I added in here, which is like my tea cabinet. Um, I keep saying my, because Bay she doesn't really drink tea, but you know, she will sometimes. So I just say my, because I'm mainly the tea drinker in here. But yeah, this is all my medicinal tea. Okay, you can see we got it on. She has new labels though. Those are the new ones back there. But I use these. I wanted these in the front because they just was like, oh, that's real cute. But yeah, um, that's that. Cups up there. And then I just have like, what is this little spot? I don't even know. Anywho, my sweet and condensed milk for my tea when I do my milk tea. And then this is like water sweetener. So that's that. Um the dishes need to be done so got a few little dishes in there that's nasty but anywho um it's nothing cute over here like at all i gotta put them clean dishes away and gotta put like groceries and stuff away water up there um that's the saratoga water it's spring water it's pretty good um gotta load the dishwasher with those four dirty cups on there and it's dirty dishes that's in the sink and that's that. I'm still doing laundry, so the living room looking a little crazy. But I just wanted to kind of give y'all a little update. Move the trash can to right there. And this is over here. And this is just like the black and gold pies, you know, the KitchenAid, um, the mixer, the juicer, our wooden bowls. We love those things. And then just other stuff like the salad bowl and storage bowls and lunch boxes. Um what is it bento boxes i think it's called so yeah that's that's that that's the update um y'all will see it when it's clean and pristine but we living right now okay we we living in it it's lived in so so that's looking like i'm about to have me a little frozen dinner and i'm gonna tell y'all show y'all this basket i made and tell y'all the good news all right so here is the basket i made it's actually for my aunt hopefully she doesn't watch my videos but um it's like uh it was gingerbread themed but some things were like out of stock so yeah um the tree is lit the presents are lit um so let me tell you what i put in here so it's like i haven't gotten her anything since we have reconnected um so i am gonna i think do christmas for everyone like my siblings and my nephew and my cousin so i was like i'm gonna put her together this box or this bin and it was a collaboration that i did as well so it just made sense and i'm gonna add like more stuff like gift cards or i don't know just maybe a fragrance gift cards something but this is her christmas present along with just like a thinking of you gift um so here this is like a two-piece uh fuzzy set you have like a little lip melt 
some socks and these are actually dog socks and human socks so freaking cute she does have a dog um he might not wear them though then it's just like some candles down here a mug there is a stocking so one of these stockings are in there and it has this bottle of wine in there so i don't really know how i'm gonna do that yet because i actually want to stuff the stocking i don't really know what her favorite candies and stuff are though so then this little loofah thing i got a few a few of these things i pop show some incense okay a little spa day uh skincare thing this is a throw blanket back there then these are just like gingerbread uh slippers so i got gingerbread slippers gingerbread socks gingerbread candle um i don't really care for the smell of them but again i was doing a collab so it matched the theme of what i was going for and i went for this like brown kind of basket and yeah it's super duper cute and i'm gonna add her other stuff just over here um when i do do that i don't They are so freaking cute. They got so big, probably from the last time y'all saw them. She is freaking adorable. Now nah, that's not cute. That's not cute. And then China B, M I A. I threw the fridge thing, the uh, drink organizer away. Um, that used to be the organizer in the uh, refrigerator, but it just seemed to be less functional. Like it looks really nice but it wasn't really holding the big containers and things like that. I think my food about to be, but yeah, it wasn't really holding a big container. So it just was like, eh, it's kind of counterproductive. So I just got rid of it and still organized the drinks in a line. So it still looks organized. So yeah. All right, so I'm actually ending my night. I'm about to give the doggos some snacks. Um, and I'm gonna tell y'all the good news as we end this vlog. It's crazy how fast things move around these parts. But, um, so, guess what? Y'all know I had an interview today. And I had one yesterday. So I had my first interview yesterday, Zoom style. No, yeah, 15 minutes. Um, it was cool. Second interview today, so Monday, then Tuesday. And it was about 45 minutes and very informative pleasant all that good stuff now i did get a little stumped when i think i told you guys this but when they were like maybe i didn't tell me you know what makes you stand out why we should hire you instead of hiring our other candidates da, 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 da. i find it hard sometimes my lips might be a little chapped i don't know but i find it hard sometimes to sit there and just talk about myself i can talk about my brands I can talk about things like that, but to sit here and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so perfect for this because da 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 da, you should hire me. I just was like stumped. And what's crazy is I did, I got two, I did five interviews basically this week, right? I had five, I only did three. So I did. I had two second interviews so monday i did two interviews today i had two and then i had another one i wasn't interested in the third one anymore the second one they were very like and eh, you know i had to reach out to them like eh, be persistent and i don't want to have to chase you for a job in a sense and i understand like that's what some companies want to know that you're in interested but i had already like emailed them like they was like oh do you have some time to talk yeah sure okay great hey my number is da 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 da, -da. <laughs> you know what time you said 10 15 that i'm not doing that every single day we were supposed to have a zoom meeting uh today i didn't reach out i didn't ask for the link i i just was like i'm not doing that now the brand that i'm actually i got a job offer are we excited the brand that i actually gave me a job offer is the one that i was very like very interested in i i went to their website looked them up saw what they were about, looked at their Instagram, their LinkedIn, all of that. And it seemed like a culture, like a working culture that I would be interested in. Now, if it's extremely demanding, I would have to apologize in advance because that's not really like what I'm trying to do. Um, 
I want it to be chill, but I want to network. I do want to um, learn. I want to grow and all of that. So my first day is Monday. I have officially merged careers, guys. I have merged careers. And it's not just like a job. It's like something I could see myself doing. I feel like for, uh, we'll see when, come Monday, right? But it's something where I don't want it to just be I'm going to work. Like I want it to be something I'm excited about. And I feel like it falls in line with what I do already. Um, and I'm going to continue to do what I do. And I think I got Wednesdays off. Um, Wednesdays and most Saturdays and Sundays. So I'm still going to be doing my content, filming and all that on Wednesdays. So it just works out. Um, I get to kind of think I kind of get to talk to my director about like, sounds so weird. I have not worked in, I had an internship in college. But I haven't officially worked since, like, 2014. And that's that was something that they were like, so why do you want to work now? Like, And I'm like, I honestly just want something refreshing. I want something different. I want something stable. I want structure. Like, that's literally what I want. It's not that business is failing. Being an influencer is failing. Like, no, I literally signed three contracts today. Like... I'm good with influencing. I'm good with content creation. I'm good with packing up my wigs and sending them off. But I want benefits. I want life insurance. I want 401k. I don't, I want all of that. And I want something where in 20, 30, 40 years, whatever, if I ain't turn my brand into a million dollar brand, you feel me? I want to be able to be like, okay, well, I got my rental on your man. You feel me? I want, my, I want my pension, my social security. I want all that. So I'm super excited. Um, I got a call tonight and I was kind of nervous because I got stumped when I was trying to sell myself. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to say. They're not going to call me back. Oh my God. And around, I had just got done filming. I had just got done filming. I was on a group FaceTime with my friends and I got a call. They said, look out for this area code. Got the call. I was like, oh, y'all got to hold on. Hello, hello. I was like, yeah, you know, we want to give you the job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah, we going to see. I go in on Monday. Um, I'm excited. I'm already about to train my body to get up early, but I don't have to be there that early Monday. But I am going to train myself to be early. Now, but that's the good news. Um, this vlog is crazy. How I was just telling y'all, oh my god, I got an interview. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh, I wasn't really nervous, I just was, eh, you know. Um, and then all in the same day, oh my god, I'm hired. Oh my gosh, I'm a working woman. Woman, why did I say it like that? I'm a working woman. What, like, I've been working, I've been working, but corporate woman, and this is something that I've been thinking about for like two years and I kind of just was like let's go for it and I'm doing it and then they were talking about last thing <laughs> they were talking about the pay and I was like yeah I'm still gonna make what I make like with my brands with my content creation with being an influencer what they giving me first of all it can match and exceed what I make let's start there uh and i was like making double and it's not about the money but that's insane so yes please and we have base pay we have commission so i'm just like it's lit it's lit like i'm about to be saving like crazy i'm about to be investing back into myself like crazy let's do it Let's do it. And I, I don't want to say it's F off money because it's not. Like, I'm going to use it for, I'm going to put it to good use. But it's definitely going to create, like, even if I got wiggle room now, that's going to create worm room. You know how you do the worm? You used to do the worm back in the day. That's worm room. Like, savings going to be fat. Okay, down payment is going to be fat. Like, that's what I'm talking about. So, that is it. Okay. Once again, Simper, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. This is a great video to be a sponsor of. This is kind of like life changing. And I'm just like, what? 
this is unusual but you gotta be a risk taker you gotta take challenges you gotta get uncomfortable to get comfy get uncomfy to get comfy you gotta do it so we gonna do it we gonna do it all right so it's time to get on my new schedule i don't know if i want to do the gym in the morning or the nights i don't know what i want to do yet uh maybe just stretch in the morning go to work go to work go to work uh do whatever business stuff i need to do you know all of that take care of everything and maybe work out at night after i have eaten and stuff and then take my shower and that's probably how i'm gonna do it but yeah y'all that concludes this video thank you guys so much for joining i will see you in another vlog very soon because i got three that one i'm editing right now two on two separate sd cards that i need to edit so we got some content coming i got a haul coming tomorrow some tiktoks to edit i'm doing it okay we getting it done let me eat my little frozen dinner and yeah i'm gonna retire for the night because your girl gotta be up early um i really don't have to be up early tomorrow but i'm gonna get into the swing of getting up early